yeah so thanks for joining whoever joined for today so thanks for joining so uh, as we are discussing about the client administration right client administration so okay client creation logical systems fine so what about the client copies so what is the main aim of the client copies here client copies client copies means copying the data from one client to another client copying the data from one client to another client either from source client from client from client means source client either it's in the same system or in the different system so copying the data from one client to another client that is called the client copy we have the sap introduced the one mechanism you no need to suppose if you have the data already in the other client or other system so you want to similar data you want in the another system or in the different client or different system so how can i do that one yeah we can perform the client copies we can perform it so there is a sap concept you can perform the client copies that we already know everybody knows so okay we can perform the client copies and everything we already knows everyone so the same time we have the types of client copies are there local client copy so local client copy locally performing the client copy which means within the system between two clients within the same city and between two clients maybe hyderabad to sorry in the within the hyderabad so maybe one place to another place maybe help in nagar to vanasthalipur or lb nagar to so miyapur or amir pet one place to another place so it does not required much thing here why because within the same city only so we can perform the internal courier like local courier right so locally transferring the data from one client to another client so here while performing the client copies here so we have the data segregation data what we are going to do means data data we are going to import it here right so what type of data we are going to import whether you want to copy the all the data or only specific data or only specific object what we want to go right so that is the reason so we have the client copy profiles are introduced so which means sap underscore all which means all the data you can copy now some customer they don't want to copy the all the data they want copy only cust means customization data customization data means only the developer who developed only that development data that time you can use the cust data some customers they want to use the users they want to copy some customers they want to copy the so users and plus so cost to customization you cost so we cost so based we like that we have the client copy profiles are there so you can copy it here if you copy from the local that is a local client copy if you copy between two systems suppose this is the source this is the target this is the source and this is the target here source we have the one client target is the one client here so copying the data copying the data from so from here to here is called the so local so remote client copy but remote client copy so it's not it's immediately you cannot initiate it the before that to perform the remote client copy first of all between the two cities between two systems there is a connectivity should be possible so in that case we have discussed about the SM fifty nine RFC connections we have discussed so for client create so the connecting between two systems here so the connectivity is very important here the connectivity is very 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 important here then only we can perform the so connections then only we can perform the connection to the your respective systems we can perform the connections here so once the connection is there then only through this connection the data will be flow the data will through this pipe the water how the water will flow to the source to target same as like here from here the data will go from here to here the data will go here so that is the that is the so remote client copy but here 
RFC connection is very important here. So that's why in the SM59, we can create the RFC connectivity. SM59, we can create the RFC connectivity to the between two systems. Either target is SAP or non-SAP. We can perform the connectivity using the so RFC connectivity. That concept is called the RFC remote function call. Remotely, we can call the function. So that is the remote client copy. Using the SCC9 is the transaction code, we can perform the remote client copy, right? That is the one. So what about the export import business? Export import business also, it's like similar to the remote client copy only, but it is not like the direct transfer. It's not like that direct transfer here. Remote client copy is direct transfer to the target. But this is not like direct transfer. So here, so from source to some file system level, OS level file system. So you have to export it. You have to export it. OS level file system, you have to export it from here. Right? This is called the, the OS level file system means USR SAP trans directory. You will do the export. You will do the export here. So using the SCC8 is the transaction code. You will do the export here. Once the export is done, from here to here, you will do the import. Import from here to here, you will do the import here. This is called the SCC. So SCC seven. That is called the import. Import option. So, but both the, but the difference between the remote client copy and the client export import. The main aim, both are same. The main aim of the both client copies is final achievement is transferring to the target client, means delivering to the Bangalore, from Hyderabad to Bangalore. So you are only one person, you are picking the data and you are just transferring to the, you are Bangalore, so one location, you are, you are transferring. You are only one person, right? That is fine here. What about the here? Here you are not the one person here. So what you are doing, so one person will do the export here, export import business. So then, so another person will pick up the here, then he will transfer. Suppose example, let me take the example here, Hyderabad to Bangalore, you want to view the data. So here, in between Hyderabad to Bangalore, there is a, we have the middle, maybe it's Karnul, I think. Karnul or... Uh, <laughs> so we have Karnul or... Karnal, I think, in middle, we have the Hyderabad to Bangalore, in middle, we have the Karnal. Okay, so in Karnal, so you have to, you have a junction. So in the junction, you will place it here. From here to, so one more person will pick up and you will transfer the data to the, you will import the data here. Right, this is called the export and import business. So here, so here in which cases we need to choose the export import and which case we need to use the remote client copy. So if the data size, if the data size is more than one terabyte or client size is more than one terabyte, then you need to choose the export import business. Why? Because one terabyte data continuously transferring from here to here. If suppose some network issues enter your data is gone, right? Again, you need to start. So suppose if the more than one terabyte, first you have to export to the your local file system, right? First, you have to export to the your local file system. Then you have to import to the your target file system. You have to import to the your target file system. That is called the export and import business. That is called the export and import business here. So using the SCC8, you will do the export here. Then using the SCC7, you can do the import option here. Export and import business here, export and import business here. So export and import here. So it's not the direct transfer, it's a two-way mechanism. First you have to export it, wait until, then you have to import it. But this is a safe side, safer side. Why? Because while importing, something is crashed. So then you can just pick up from the, your transit directory, you can just load it here. But here, from here to here, something is crashed here. Again, you have to go to the source. You need to touch the source again. Then you need to pick up the data, right? So that is the so one-way mechanism, but it's a dangerous procedure. Why? Because sometimes some customer, they don't have the network stability. 
in that case what will happen one terabyte data continuously you are in the, you are doing from source to target sometimes some network issues you are your client copy get cancelled right so that time so we may face the situation again we have to restart right so apart from that so that time they can choose the export import business first it will export it then we can import it here so which method you want to use it as part of the client copies you can use it here suppose stc8 so same select the profile which profile you want to use it here then select the target system which system you want to choose it here suppose ecp then choose the ecp so then schedule as a background job then it will create the it will create the files ecd so double zero double zero forty five files it is creating here so these files are created at the operating system level so which means so usr usr sap trans under the trans we have the core files and data files so these files will be created here these files will be created here core files and data files so these files will be created here so this is a export import business exporting exporting the data so then importing so then after that we can import once the export is done then we can import it here we can import the systems here so this way we can do that one export and import business here exporting and importing here so we can see the client copy logs in the scc3 scc3 so we can see here client copy logs we can see it from here whether client copy is successfully completed or not here we can see it from here right still it is processing it is processing status here so here it is processing means means there is a one file will be created under the usr sap trans directory at operating system level in the trans directory yes this is the one right so this is the one so rt 45 45 yes 45 kt 0, 0, 0, 45 45 the file will be created here one file is got created here so export import import method here so right export and import it will create the file so then you can just you can log into the another client so same you can use the same another client or another system or another client so you can use it so here nothing is there there is no data here so what you can do you can use the scc7 scc7 still it is data is not generated still you can use the scc7 then you can import the data here you can export the data you can import the data here so like that still it is processing so which means we can export the data we can import the data to the your respective systems here using the scc6 scc8 you can export it so another system target system log into the target system you can use the scc7 for importing the your so data which has exported by the your source once export is completed then only we have to do the import otherwise what you will happen so you will see like so the data is not get generated export is not generated so something like that you will get the message here so we have to wait until completion of that export here right so this is the way we have to do the exporting exporting the data and importing client export and import here so normally sir uh, there is a one step here every client copy there is a three steps here so to check the space rs space check rs space check rs size check here there is a two reports in sa38 reports reports means either sa38 or se38 we have to execute the reports here sa38 or se38 so either sa38 reports means reports or programs we have to execute in this transaction code right rs so space check or rs size check rs so size check so these are the two reports we have to execute it to determine the 
determine the size of the size of the current client size of the current client here so size of the current client we have to execute it rs space check rs size check reports we have to execute it so that it will give the information about the what is the size of the your so what is the size of the your client how much free space is there so based upon that we can plan the target client copy here suppose this is the source so when you execute the report you got you got to know now so you came to know that there is a 500 gb space is the current space current utilization 500 gb is there then when you are performing the target also you want to log in you want to perform the same data you want to copy it where then here also the 500 gb free space should be required right so then so that is the reason for this estimation purpose you need to execute the this report rs space check rs size check reports you have to execute it to determine the client sizes here to determine the client sizes here so these are about the client copies three client copies which we are discussing here so to summarize entire client administration related topics here right scc4 right client creation then sir first will come bd54 logical system yeah yeah yeah, yeah that yeah it's not typing let me call it so to summarize to summarize what we have done so far <laughs> regarding the client administration here right so you will get the all the client copies related transaction codes and everything here right the first of all so logical system logical so logical system creation logical system creation logical system creation we have to perform either the sale or so bd54 transaction codes here then client creation cli so ent client creation we have to perform using the scc4 transaction code here then once the client creation is done so then what next then we have discussed about the local client copies local client copy sccl then remote client copy scc9 then client copy logs logs we can check it out in the scc83 right so yeah client copy export e e for export and scc8 then client copy import i will tell you how to remember easily this transaction codes here right so then client copy so then after that during the client copy we have discussed about the profiles right profiles and parameters then rz10 rz11 here we discussed then rfc administration connecting purpose so sm59 here right so next one transaction code is the client deletion it's one of the dangerous activity scc5 right scc5 is for the client deletion suppose you want to delete the client so then you can use the scc5 is the transaction code creation c4 logs you can see here so how to remember easily this client copy transaction codes here so all the client copy transaction codes starts with the scc star okay so most of the transaction codes right so here so l l for local client copy l for local client copy so r9 r9 means r means suppose if you this is a 9 right this is an r so if you turn left to the r r9 normally we will call it as the r9 right so a b a1 b2 c3 something like that when you compare it r9 r means remote client copy r9 so you are not the scc r it's like scc9 so like that you need to remember this one export export means scc8 so normally 
if you cut this eight in the horizontally or vertical, I think. Yeah, so if you cut this one off cut, so eight, eight is like E, right? Eight is like E. So X4, seven, seven means I, I, seven means I. In the third letter, in the third letter, we will call it as the, so I, how we can rate it? Like seven, right? So this is the one. So I import. Just for your remember, I remember like this here. So seven means import. Some, sometimes they may ask you, what is the transaction code for the client import? Import, I for import, I means seven, I seven, red iPhone, I seven, then SCC seven, then E eight, R nine, something like that. So that is the reason. So I remember like this, I remember the transaction codes. So you can also remember the like this. So this RR about the your client copy, client administration related transaction codes here. Okay. So for next day, for next class on Monday, so, uh, so we are going to discuss about the TMS administration, transport management system. So it's a very important concept from now onwards, right? TMS administration, transport management system. So this concept will, will run from Monday onwards. So don't miss. It's a very important concept. Then some other daily monitoring transaction codes, performance related transaction codes, right? So some other transaction codes are there. Those will go. So one by one, okay, we'll go like this. So you can practice it till now, whatever we discussed. So two major topics we discussed, SAP, work process administration, then SAP, client administration, SAP, client administration. So client administration, work process administration, SAP, client administration. These two we discussed. So, so please, uh, till now, whatever we discussed, please practice it, okay, 